Hi everyone, welcome to Rocksteady and I'm just going to do this little video as an update because um, those of you who are regulars to Crochet Rocks have probably followed for a while the saga of what happens at the end of my road where there's a cliff and um, we had an emergency one night on the cliff which I did film. I'll pop a link at the end of the video to that um, video where um, a fault line appeared then subsequently a whole chunk fell away and a few more chunks fell away and a house car everything plummeted down the cliff um, <clears throat> there's been a lot of kind of um, campaigning since by residents down there trying to get somebody to take some responsibility and make the whole area safe there are lots of sea defences all the way along there are some at Minster which is just a bay away that's that, that way and there is some at Warden Bay which is a bay away in that direction and they've shored up the sea defences there with boulders in netting and all sorts of excuse me I've got an itchy foot um, all sorts of things that um, uh, like measures that they can put in and at another part of Minster they've sloped it down so there's no more cliff erosion it's just a gentle slope of grass so <clears throat> they could do that but there's been a lot of controversy about this community not being a large enough community to warrant um, helping you know it's not cost effective and um, the conservation um, body who supposedly own the cliffs think that it the natural erosion is best because they found a couple of ancient dinosaur teeth in those cliffs so the fossils are worth more than us basically which is it's all rubbish the council say that oh they want to do the work but the conservationists won't allow them. But they are the ones who put the conservation order on the cliffs so they didn't have to put their hands in their pocket and work on the cliffs. So it's it's spin, you know, typical politic political politician spin. That's all it is. So there's been more and more pressure put on them. And so the other day I went outside and about a week ago, uh, or maybe even more actually and I looked down because I heard noise and when I looked it was a digger and so I thought there is a digger dangerously close to the edge of the cliff what are they doing so the official word that the collapse of that house um, was that it was a sinkhole that appeared underneath the house due to a maybe a burst main at some point I don't know but this huge sinkhole appeared under the house so there was nothing keeping the house up and it went <clears throat> once you know over a period of a few days and that it wasn't erosion it wasn't collapse it wasn't anything else other than a sinkhole that's the official word so um then pressure was put upon the water board and so it went on well anyway i saw this digger and i thought what the heck are they doing down there you know right on the edge of a cliff that was precarious a little while ago with a humongous in you know digger huge and that's been there ever since and nobody has mentioned it but Gary went down there the other day who took Sophia for a walk and he said that he heard they're sloping it and they're going to put a pathway so that we can all get down to the beach which in some ways will be fantastic and in other ways just means we'll get an awful lot more people go by the house which means an awful lot more dust so it's a double-edged sword it would be nice to be able to get down there and access the beach if that is indeed what they're doing and um, it will be nice for Gary because he'll be able to go down there and fish although it'll be a bit congested there's a lot of people that go down there and fish already God knows how they get down it must be them take their life in their hands um, but there's a, about three or four Eastern European people that park up the road and they go down there and fish and one of them's a woman and I often wonder how they scale the cliff to do it but uh, they do and uh, so I thought at first maybe they're just moving the house and the car <laughs> from the cliffs because they're not all the way down they didn't fall 
although I don't know where they are now because we don't see drone footage anymore but when they fell they fell to a ledge so they were a quarter of the way down the cliff I hear Gary so yeah they only fell a quarter of the way so um, they may have fallen further it I don't know what's happened so anyway I thought that's what they were doing at first but they were on the top of the cliff so hopefully they are doing that I did hear some rumors a long time ago about a marina whether they'll ever do that there or not I don't know but certainly there are people down there working constantly every day doing something so we can only hope that they are doing some kind of defense and it will benefit us in the end in the long run and we can only hope that we can access the beach because it will be lovely walks once they're done and fish in for Gary so um, I will keep you posted if I hear any more um, <clears throat> but I actually personally haven't heard anything it's only what Gary was told so um, fingers crossed then so thanks for watching stay safe Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.